Hey everyone, I am Josh and welcome to uh, this part of Let's Build a House in The Sims 3, whatever I'm calling it these days. So this is part 9, I believe, and well yeah, uh, we're back. And uh, I'm actually recording this episode directly after the previous one, so if there's any feedback that's been given, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know about it right now, but yeah, so I'm actually right back into uh, recording this series. So what I want to do in this episode is uh, at least somewhat finish up what I've done on the outside here because, well, I kind of left it a mess. So I'm going to just uh, continue this along. Uh, let me just see where that lands. Yeah, this should be moved back probably a bit. So I'm going to just see here. Uh, maybe I'll move this wall back one more. And now I'll connect in right there. So this will be the garage uh, structure for the house. And I think it's pretty good uh, because it's quite a nice, um, hello, little point there. And quite a nice uh, large size here, uh, quite a fancy schmancy garage. Uh, I think it, it kind of helps to have the second part here because then it's more oriented toward the street as opposed to being, uh, you know, facing the house, which is a little strange. So I'm just going to put the garage door over there for now. And that's lined up, yeah. And I'm just going to, first I'm going to remove that and all this. And I'm also going to remove that, yeah, because then this should be able to fit right in there. And we'll just um, smooth out the, or hold on a sec, I'm going to just do that, and then we'll smooth out the upper layer here. So, uh, which for some reason is not showing up, there we go. So we'll just do that, uh, amazing, uh, this is very glitchy in here because of the way that I did that. I uh, know it actually would make... A lot more sense, perhaps. I don't know. I guess it has to be that way. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll just remove this wall now because that's not needed anymore, and we can just get rid of all of this and this too. So there you go. A uh, fancy new garage, and I'm also gonna, of course, put some flooring in here. And yeah, I think I'm not gonna put a freeze over this because I didn't before, and I don't think I'm going to now. So yeah, it's just gonna be. A pretty standard shape here. So we're going to do this and we're going to get a diagonal gable roof and put that over this section as well. Now the only concern I actually have with doing this is what it's going to look like from here because <laughs> that's a little messy. So maybe that should be a better way of doing this. Uh, maybe if I use a hip, oh geez. Um, gosh, that's actually really unattractive. Um, I don't know <laughs> what to do with that right now, and also the center part here is not covered at all. So maybe I can, let's see what I can do. I don't know if, oh wow, that's just really unattractive doing that. <laughs> that just looks like a mess. Um, there has to be a better way of doing this probably. So I'm actually gonna extend that over to here and then I'm gonna come down a few levels so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do this and make this a lot taller so you can actually see it. And now I'm going to, yeah, do this here. So that all joins up nicely and also for some reason it glitches out like that. I don't know why. I don't like when it like puts like little holes in the roof uh, when you, you know, are kind of doing that sort of thing because it looks kind of strange. But anyway, I'm gonna raise this up as well. And now I'm gonna get in a standard gable roof over here. So. We'll see how this looks. Or actually, what I might do is put hipped roof back here um, and then get a gable roof just in the front. So that way, it still has the gable roof, but it also, well, this is a little messy, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be messy for sure, just because, um, also, please don't be glitched out, uh, just because it's just a little strange. I'm also going to put in maybe like a peak here, just so it has something interesting going on. Okay, I think that's all right. Uh, I'm also going to get in, of course, a octagonal roof. Uh, just, oh, for crying out loud. You gotta do that, don't you? Really, you gotta do that, huh? So we can do it like, th uh, like that, I guess, and just not have any overhang, <laughs> which I'm not psyched about that, but it's okay. I can live with it. And maybe we can get in like some railings around it, um, just so it looks a little bit more classy, perhaps. Um, yeah, I don't know if that entirely, <laughs> I don't know if that entirely fits in with the style of the house. Uh, you know, maybe there's a better thing here. I don't know if a dome would look right either. Maybe, also. There's a dome also, yeah, it cuts out the roof too. 
Yeah, I wish it didn't do that. This is just kind of irritating. And also, if I could place it here, that'd be great. Okay. You can't make a dome that small, I guess. So, how about a cone? Can I do a cone? Maybe not. So, wait, is it only... So, you can only do this stuff. Wait, why can't I seem to do that again? Like, I had it, and... Okay. So, if I go from, like, this corner to there, there you go. So, okay, I could probably do a dome of that size. Yeah, I can. Uh, oh, 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 so I can't... Okay, hold on. I'm, like, so high up because of the mountain behind me. No, I can't alter that in any way. Oh, I can't alter that in any way, which is a shame. So we'll try it with the cone, which for some reason the cone is like sunk in all the way like that. I don't know why it does that, but anyway, if I can... Nope, that's the maximum there. Okay, well, since we've exhausted all our options here, I guess we're just going to have to go with the uh, with the good old-fashioned... Um, it also still cuts out the roof too, if you can see in the corner there, but it's to a, a smaller degree, so I feel like that's acceptable. Also, I feel like that's just way too tall. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Uh, one other thing I'm going to change is over here. Let me get rid of all the landscaping here. Um, also, because it's not entirely in the landscaping style I want to do. But also, out well, there, well, I just dropped down the mountain there. <laughs> I'm also going to put in a little bit of a front porch area here. Just because I'm not psyched about the appearance of this section. So I'm also going to do this with the walls, uh, just because it matches what I did there in the front. Um, yeah, I guess that's okay. And we'll put stone on all this here. And get a wee bit of, not that, nope, no thank you. Uh, you know, I think I'll just do the roof right here. So we'll just put in, so this, I, I just want to have a roof over this section, um, because I think that it, why would you do that? That's a little inconvenient, aren't you? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just messed it up more. Okay, so just go up a level. Hello. Oh, what? Ah, oh, okay. He's happy now, or she's happy now. Whatever that wall is, I don't know. Alrighty, so we're going to get rid of these windows, because it won't let me place a roof if there's windows and doors in the way. And we can just do, I think, I'm thinking of a gable here, and then a diagonal situation over here. Um, although that's going to be a little awkward. Also, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Also, why is that even on an angle? I guess I suppose that's hardly necessary. <laughs> you know what? I don't think we need constrained floor elevation anymore. Also, that's move objects. Uh, so I get to type in constra constrained floor elevation false. So we can get that in again. And just, what? Oh, I mean, such, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so smart. Also, oh my god. Okay, let me undo that, please, and I actually put true in because I just turned the cheat on again instead of turning it. Also, yes, I can type. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's an improvement. Uh, we can also put in a wall segment there, and the stairs will just be in the corner. There we go. I think that looks better. Yeah, that looks definitely looks better. All right. So we're done with uh, exterior bits here, although this is strange. I hate the way that it glitches like that because it just looks silly. Um, I think that's the best we can do. Also, I wonder if it's a better roof color than black. I don't know. We can experiment with it. Maybe light gray is kind of interesting, but I don't think it, the stone, the problem is it just blends in with the stone. Because uh, I like to do some, I like to do kind of interesting roof colors, and I just had it as black, so I thought, you know what, maybe we could mix it up, but... Maybe we shouldn't. I have no idea. I kind of like the light gray. I don't know why. Uh, as opposed to the black. I don't know. It, just, it looks kind of more weathered. So I'm going to do that for now. If you if, if you all hate it, we can uh, adjust it, of course. So uh, I believe this is just made out of... Is this a full height wall? It is. It's just a couple of uh, walls there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think a gate would be nice. I don't think that's five across, though. And the problem is if I get a fence out. I think this is the problem I ran into previously, is that if I try to put in... I don't even know what fence I want to use here. If I try to put this in, because this is a four wide opening, it is. There's no like good gate for this, because they're all either two wide, like this one, or this one happens to be five wide, naturally. So there's no actual four wide gates. Uh, it's either two wide or five wide. So 
that's inconvenient. Uh, to say the least. So, and the problem is, it's, it's a four-wide centered entrance. You know what I mean? The entrance is, is, oh, the entrance is, sorry, I was just, like, scratching an itch, but I have a, a sticker on my shirt, which I just messed up. Anyway, it's a five-wide uh, entrance. Um, no, it's not. It's a four-wide entrance, but a five-wide gate. So that's why I have a bit of a situation there, so. Yeah, I might just leave it open. I feel like, though, it should be six-wide, because I feel like that's still a little, um, I think it's a little constrictive, especially like if you're, um, that's not the right spot, especially if you're driving a car in, because there's a garage, oh, so how's this garage going to work if there's a gate there? Oh, I'm not thinking anything through, am I? Okay, well, let's, let's whip out the, um, the terrain paint that I used, and just imagine this came down straight, actually, well, it doesn't have to be straight, I suppose, it can just, it can go like that, <laughs> that's fine, okay, so we can have a gate here, and this, or an opening, or it's not really a gate, but we'll have this, and we, oh, that's the mountain again, uh, don't mind that, and we can get our lights, which uh, disappeared, have a light there, and a light there, and we can get our paint on, and our little roofs, so, just one here, and one here, so this is just uh, a continuation of what was on the other side there, the other side, that was what was back here. So we'll just get rid of these because they're not in a good spot anymore. All right. So, um, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Um, this driveway, I'm not sure if it should go to the fountain because you can't really get a car around there. But for now, this is this makes just way more sense, in my opinion, than it did before. Uh, and also we have the backyard uh, area. It looks a bit better now. So let's focus on the interior. So the biggest issue I had was when you walk in the house, I love the stairs. They're really cool and all. But it's just the waste of space is unbelievable. So I think I'm going to just dispose of these sides um, from the staircase. And I'm going to try to... I want to make a use out of this space. Um, I also feel as though this... Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do upstairs. I guess we can figure out the upstairs later. But... Maybe the stairs should be back a smidge. Um, so I'm going to move them back, I think. So we'll get... I don't know what staircase I used. This is fine, though. This staircase is fine here. And it probably won't let me place it. Oh, it will. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And maybe we can... Hmm. Because so I want hallways here. Um, that's the wrong key. Uh, also, yeah. Let's get rid of this. All this. All this can be gone. <laughs> And maybe, uh, I'm trying to think. So, these columns are in the way. Um, we can have, I, I guess, an entrance. I'm trying to say I suppose, because I said that so many times in the last video. So, we can do this. And this can now be a space. Um, and also, I guess that can go. This can now be a space. This can come back. So, this bathroom, I guess this is supposed to be a bathroom. I don't know. Oh, I can't remember what this was supposed to be. I guess it could be a, a, a you know, it could be a bathroom or something. But now we have a large room here, and we can also um, have like a little back, back, back door area. So I don't know exactly what I want to do with this space now that I have it because it's a little strange. Like you have the kitchen and the dining room is here, uh, and then you have like these two rooms on either side. So, and then there's also, well, the colossal amount of space out this way. So, you know, it's a little, it's, it's, it's a very large house, so it can be challenging to figure out what to do. Uh, but it might help just to start with a clean slate as opposed to all these walls that I have that are pre-existing. So I'm going to get rid of all the walls. So these are the entr this is the entrance to the house, and this is a wall. And this, I guess, can be a room. Um... Like that? I don't know. I don't know if like I don't know what to do with these rooms though. Or maybe this should come down straight, uh, just straight across. So now these are actually identical rooms, which is is pleasing because it's symmetrical, and I like symmetrical things. So I'm also gonna do a basement, which I know that comes out of nowhere, doesn't it? Oh yeah, let's do a basement. Well, yeah, I want to do a basement. <laughs> so we're gonna do a basement actually. Um, surprise. And uh, do, 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 I guess this is okay. 
So what we're gonna do here is just get some stairs out, uh, preferably just one wide here. And just one, two, three. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just because I, I, th I think like a house of this size should have a basement, just in my personal opinion. Also, that's going to get messy if I do that, so we won't do that. I will just come out here, and here, and down to there, or something. So that will be the basement. And now what I'm going to do is uh, replace the foundation. So this is actually how you make a, make a good basement, if you didn't know. Um, so we're just going to put the foundation back, and then what we're going to do is come back underground, and we'll put in some walls, so I can actually, uh, I don't know how I want to do this. Well, I want some stairs uh, to come down in a particular spot, but we'll figure that out in a sec. So this will be the basement. It's not going to be huge. I just want a basement of some, I say it's not going to be huge when it's actually quite large, but no, it doesn't need to like uh, completely fit like what's going on up, uh, you know, in that part of the house. But anyway, we'll just take this out again. Uh, so we actually have walls down there instead of foundation walls because Foundation walls don't make a good basement, uh, so we'll just do that. Okay, and one more. All right, so that's our basement. And what I want to do is have stairs. So let's fill that in. I want to have stairs here. So let's remove this. And I want the stairs to go down right about in this area. I guess, is that the right spot? No, it's not. Okay, hold on a sec. It should be um, too wide. It's, it's a fancy house, but it should be there. There we go. That's what I wanted. And just do this. Uh, the only thing is, well, I suppose, no, we can do it like this. Also, I just said I suppose again. I'm so sorry. So we can do that. And that'll be like the basement stairs, I guess. Uh, and that's kind of nifty. So now these rooms are not necessarily symmetrical, but that works. And then we have stairs that go down. And I don't know down. Down to what? I don't know yet. Uh, I'm also going to remove this because I want to make it a little bit bigger. Um, so we can do that actually. Oh no, that was that was not smart. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just come down here and do it like this. So this will be the extent, I think, of the basement. And I, I don't intend to have too much down here, maybe just like a gym or something, uh, like a home gym, just so, uh, you know, I can have something for the space. And that will just, I'm just doing that just so uh, the stairs aren't so cramped. All right, so we have a basement now, and I'm going to try to figure out what to do with all this room. So we can get some archways, I think. So let's get some arches in. Uh, I don't know what arches to use. I'm thinking this, and it also bothers me that that doesn't fit exactly on there. Um, you know, but it's okay. So we can get some arches in these places. Uh, obviously not one there because that's the staircase. But maybe I'll move that over a bit. One more. Come on. There you go just so it's lined up with those windows. Anyway, so that, and I also put this archway in this spot so it's centered on this wall. So in this space, the problem is it's a gigantic room and I think this could work as like a living room here. This is a very large, great room. And to give myself a sense of scale, I'm going to get out some furniture uh, just so I can tell. So yeah, this is a pretty decently sized room. So, you know, you can fit like a couch and then a couple love seats comfortably in this room with lots of space left over. So that's just uh, planning out that space. And I'm also thinking what we could do is maybe have this a two story, be a two-story ceiling. I don't know yet for sure what I want to do with this, but let's just take out this just so we can think about it. <laughs> and also up here. So I'm going to remove these walls, obviously. All of this needs to go. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, so let's get rid of all of that, and also this here. So I, I uh, can keep in mind if I want to uh, have that be like an open space, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and also I'm thinking I want a second staircase, because fancy houses have like two sets of staircases instead of just one. So maybe we can find another place for that. But anyway, so I think this is a good space for this. And I'm thinking of maybe... So this is a pretty large room. Um, we could, we, I could split it here and put a bathroom there, just so there's like a bathroom in the house somewhere. Uh, although these would actually be good. Uh, I guess I could put doors. I want doors, obviously, so you can get outside. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we could just do doors on either side there and there, so you can go out from this room. And then, um, hmm. So if you're in this room here. Maybe we could do like a really fancy 
entrance thing here, um, like that, and yeah, maybe, I don't know, I guess that's kind of interesting, it's not centered with this, which bugs me. Ah, you know, I like things to be symmetrical, so the fact that it's not is a little irritating, but it's okay. Um, the only thing is, it, this only would work well if maybe that was split as well, um, or if all of that was split, and then I, uh, I kind of like the, well, we could actually do this, which this is a little strange, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that's a little strange, but it kind of looks cool. Uh, you have to admit, that's kind of cool. So, and then to get into this room, we could have, like, doors. I don't know why. I think, like, it's really kind of classy when you have, like, a room that's, like, doors instead of an archway. I don't know why. But maybe I'm just weird. But actually, we could have, like, the doorways here. The only thing is, I, don't, I, I would just hope that this would actually work and it wouldn't be, like, stupid and be like, oh, the sim can't go through this door because the archway's there. Um, even though, okay, come on. Yeah, because I have to use move objects for that. But I think that looks pretty cool. Also, the door should face the other way. Should open the other way. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the butt. So I'm actually going to move this so I can put the door in properly. There we go. And then I can put the arch back. That looks cool. I just think that looks really cool. And so this is the way you get to the basement. <laughs> and this seems like such a weird thing. I know it's really strange, but... So then these open up. Oh, I might move that over just for the sense of symmetricalness. And that's not a word I know, but just humor me. Um, so we have a bathroom here, uh, like so, and then a study or something here in the front, just like a frontal, a front study. And these are like little hallway spaces, or this could be like a space, a room. <laughs> yes, a room, a space, a thing. I don't know what. Um, it could be a library, I guess. I don't know if I want to, like, wall it off like I did over there and do the same kind of thing here. I don't know. I have no idea, but we could do that. And these are symmetrical now. It's like I just made a whole symmetrical thing, uh, which is cool. Uh, I may, and because, like, the thing is I have all these rooms now. And I don't know what to do with them all. Like, these are obviously hallways and stuff. Like, this is a hallway. These are hallways. But then there's, like, these two rooms that are the same size almost. And there's this room's a living room. I guess there could be multiple living rooms and there's like there's this room this room here This is the kitchen dining room There's also gonna be rooms over here. You know, this is obviously a mansion uh, That's that's uh, that's <laughs> obviously there's no question about that This is gonna be in our bathroom here So we have a couple half bathrooms, which is important and I'm thinking we need a laundry room maybe by the garage and There's also this room here off the garage. Which I don't know what to do with this either But it's, it's also like this strange space here, which obviously this should go away um, I, I want this to be like a nice room and then maybe oh gosh now we have like a triangle there which is actually kind of cool um, it messes up my floor pattern a little bit but that's okay we can just or actually I could just do that yeah that's fine just tweak the floor pattern a bit off the dining room right so I feel strange about having a chimney here <laughs> Maybe it could be for the room upstairs because it's weird to have a fireplace off of whatever room this is going to... Excuse me. Whatever room this is going to be. I also need some water too. Ah, that's better. Yeah, so I don't know what to do with this. I mean, obviously your feedback will be much appreciated. But I think this is an okay floor plan for now. Despite being awfully bizarre. Uh, <laughs> Also, there's no laundry room. I don't know what to do with that. You know, it could be like, oh, look at that, a laundry room. But that feels odd, too. So I don't know. You know, your feedback would be much appreciated on that front. Uh, so, also, I wanted a second staircase somewhere in the house. I don't know where. Uh, I guess over here is where it would make the most sense, but maybe not. Maybe we can just have one main staircase that's really grand. So, what I'm going to do is I built these sections here, obviously. Uh, those are those rooms. So I'm going to have to rethink what I've done up here, which is fine. Uh, you know, just because it does look a little strange. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn constrained floor elevation back on. And I'm going to make a little fancy shape there and not do this. Uh, actually, no, I can't do that. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do this instead. Um, 
Oh, it's inconvenient. I don't like the fact that it has to be pointy instead of like a nicer shape. Uh, hold on. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make it the. Oh, that's where it has to be. Okay, that's 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 okay. Uh, so now we're gonna make this smaller too. Cause I feel like I, I'm taking like I like to be fancy, but I feel like I'm taking up too much space with this staircase. So I'm thinking perhaps we should tone it down a little bit. Or I say I tone it down a little bit when you're about to see what I'm going to do is not really toning it down too much. But anyway, we'll flatten that out, and that should just fix everything. So we can get new flooring here, fix that there, put that in there. Uh, and we're going to put some flooring around this area as well, just so that's all filled in. And in here as well. So this is the new staircase, and I'm also going to reflect the wall like that. <laughs> or actually, I'm going to bring this all the way up. So it goes like this, and we'll remove some of this here. And I'm also going to probably just make these areas not usable, just so you kind of get that cool little point shape, because I think that's neat. And yeah, I think, well, I don't know. Also, that should go too, because frankly, this, this is all like usable space now, <laughs> as opposed to being part of the hallway. And instead, I'm going to get, just turn off railings, and I'm gonna hit a four wide staircase here. We'll do that, and three wides on either side here, and there. So that's my fancy staircase now, and we'll get some columns in. Look how classy that looks. That actually looks pretty cool. Although you come up the stairs here, so these stairs are a little strange, but I don't want to take up too much space, so I'm going to settle with this, and this will be all hallway. So that this is the this is the new landing. Now, as for the third floor staircase, that's what I like. I said that's going to be the challenge. So we're going to turn this back off because it's just going to get messy. And I think this should just obviously be a one wide staircase. But the challenge is going to be getting this to work well um, because it's actually like in this area directly. It can go there. Oh, that bothers me. Um, we might have to do a spiral staircase actually now that I think about it because I don't know how else that's going to work. So I don't know where to put it though. See, that's the thing. It has to be like... It could. It would be cool if I could like have it right there in the center of the room, um, but it would have to be like right there, right where the stairs are. I could put it in the corner, I guess. I wonder if I could like do two um, and have them mirror each other. I don't think I can do that, um, unfortunately. But we could do that, I guess, and have two. Have oh, no. <laughs> those both go out to under the roof. Oh wow, I'm brilliant. Okay, nope, not doing that. So instead, they'd have to go... Wow, there's really no place for them to go, is there? Oh, I have not planned this out well at all. Well, I suppose it can go right there. And I can rotate it around so it kind of makes a bit more sense. I don't know. So you can come up the stairs like that. And I think this hallway here... Oh, no, because now that wall is going to be messed up. All right, we might just make a cutout or something. I don't know. But uh, just so this kind of goes straight across. So as for this being an open space, which could be cool, I think. Maybe if it's like this, um, and that's just solid wall, but then you have like this kind of cool thing happening. I don't know. Uh, and also out the front, um, perhaps I'm thinking of doing is making these two bedrooms and then making a bathroom in the middle here. And this is like, I don't know what to do with this, uh, you know, I could just build a straight wall. Actually, what would make more sense to do than that is just do this. <laughs> and have two bedrooms and a bathroom. So I, I always end up like having bathrooms like right out the front window, which is not the best thing, but it tends to happen a lot. Also, I'm going to fill that in because I never did. So uh, actually, we're already at 29 minutes. Holy cow, this is a longer part than I anticipated making it. Wow, I'm a slow. You can see why my house builds are so long. I'm a slow builder. Also, why is this not going away? That's strange. Oh, what? Like demolishing walls and stuff and not what I want to demolish. Okay, so this is, I don't know what that is, a bathroom maybe? Also that should go away. So we need um, a good master bedroom. I'm thinking out here, so you have a door out that way. And um, you know what, perhaps we could do this. Just make this like a two wide hallway that just ends with the um the only reason I didn't want to make this that narrow is because this spiral staircase kind of gets in the way there. But maybe it's okay. 
So you can walk in. I want to have a bathroom somewhere. Um, you walk in here. This bathroom. Um, there's no windows in the bathroom. That's not good. Ugh, I'm so bad at planning. I don't know what to do. See, the problem is the front is bigger. But you want the master bedroom to have views out to there. So I don't know what to do. I guess I could do it on this side. Or could this like this whole thing to be the master suite. That'd be kind of ridiculous. But actually, that's a possibility. I mean, I could just have a solid wall there. And then this would be... You could have, like, the bedroom area here. Um, hmm. How would this work exactly? Well, I guess it could still be like, this is like a too big for a bedroom though, I think. Let me see. So if I get out of bed, um, oh, uh, well, it's a bit big. So actually what I might do is instead of making it this size overall, so I may put the bed there and then just have, <clears throat> just do something like that. Just so it, actually what could be really neat is if we have like a really fancy hallway here. The only problem is this is going to be a little strange. <laughs> this space here will be a little strange. I mean, this could be like a closet. Like these could be two closets, but then they face the front. So that's no, that's out of the question. So we could do a bathroom here, maybe. I don't know. Um, this could be like a private study, which I think that could be nice or a private library. So like the hallway will come down right around the corner, maybe. So we can have like I hate all these like weird little rooms I have to make. Um, I don't know what to do with these all because there should be a bathroom, like a nice master bathroom somewhere. I mean, I guess this could just be the nice master bathroom here, you know? Um, and what I could do is, where's my doors? I could get some doors from down here. Come upstairs and put some doors. So we could do a door like so. So let's have a couple of doors like that. And then a door to the master suite itself, obviously. That would be like the entrance, and you come down the hallway, and you have like, this is the master bedroom. And then perhaps, I don't know if this will work, because it's like, what a hallway. <laughs> it's like the hallway of oddities, but and have like a door to the master bathroom there, and have like the most bizarrely shaped hallway ever seen. Though it's kind of cool, I have to admit, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we could get like closets, I guess, if that's the bathroom. We get some closets in somewhere. Like maybe when you come down the hallway here, um, this could be the hallway of, of closets, I guess. So we could like, we could like line this hallway here and just have closets on either side. I don't know. I mean, that could be a little strange, but, and then have a private study. So you have to go like through the closets to get the private study. I don't know how I feel about that, but we could do it. So we could get a couple doors. And this could be the private study. And this is where the fireplace could be. So instead of being down here, we could just put it up here, not there, up here. And that could be the private study. And then, because I got rid of the windows, I believe, we could just get some windows in for the bathrooms. Or bathroom, it's one bathroom. My problem is, uh, these windows are, uh, this roof is too tall. I need to bring it down a bit so I can kind of better fit in some windows. So we can get those in. I don't think it was what I had there originally, but it's okay. So that would be the master bathroom there. And then of course we have the study here, the private study or private library, private something or other, I don't know. Uh, and we can also get in maybe a window here, a couple windows there. That probably gets cut off, it does. So just one window, just so the hallway here is not like completely windowless. But that's kind of interesting for a master suite. It's also huge. But it's kind of cool, I think. So that's now one bedroom, three bedrooms, and we could totally fit probably more. Um, I don't know exactly what to do because I don't want these just to be two bedrooms because they're way too big by themselves. So I'm thinking also, so I was just thinking we need a door <laughs> from the master out to this balcony so they could enjoy that. Also like uh, some fake balconies that I could probably put doors on. But anyway, over here, I'm trying to think, you know, what I could do with this. Because um, ideally, that would be a bedroom, but then you have this bizarre space. Now, I don't think there's like a really good way of splitting this into two bedrooms. This one definitely should be split into two bedrooms. You know, you should have like... I don't know how to do it, though. That's the problem. 
Um, because I, I always give myself such weird spaces to work with, so then I'm like infinitely baffled by what to do with it. When I, so maybe we could just eh, get rid of that and then woo, come down here, have a bathroom. That's cool. So how many bathrooms? So this is an ensuite, obviously. And these two can have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we can have a bathroom here. You know, I mean, like the more bathrooms, the better, probably. You know, it is a it is a mansion, so you should have bathrooms. Also, I'm gonna move this door over, and I'm gonna get a window for this bathroom because there should be a window there. Uh, so this bedroom, I guess, can have like an ensuite, and um, maybe you can have like some sort of fancy entrance. I don't know. Let's get an archway and see. So maybe we can just put in kind of a cool entrance way. I don't know. <laughs> so you kind of walk in. Where's a door? So we have obviously have a door to the bathroom, a door to the bedroom. So you can come in uh, through here, and then you have like a little vestibule with the bathroom and then the bedroom. Maybe that's interesting. I don't know. Uh, let me also get a bed because I also want to. Okay, that just messed up. Uh, put a bed in just so I can get an idea of how this would work. Or I guess the bed could go against the windows. Maybe. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway. All right. So this could then here. This could be just a balcony right there, which looks pretty cool. Actually, when I say a balcony, I actually think that we could do this as well. So just so it like ups the cool factor, you know, so you kind of have a nifty thing there and a wall here. And so now we have one, two, three, four bedrooms, and this would obviously be five. Um, and that's a bathroom there. So, I mean, this is a pretty large bedroom, so I don't know if I want to just... Um, you know, because it might be too big just by itself as a bedroom. I don't know. Uh, we could do a closet, I guess. Like, we could have, like, a cool closet there. That could be interesting. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that, I think, or I might just make it smaller. Also, this video is getting extremely long. Uh, it's almost 40 minutes, which is way too long. I did not mean for that to happen. But the thing is, I really want to get this stuff done, uh, you know, out of like this kind of floor plan stuff out of the way early so we can just move on to other things so I you know I apologize if you don't want to watch the whole video but anyway that can be a closet there I think this is pretty good obviously we haven't done the basement or the third floor and the third floor this could just be the landing I think and we could just have like a private bedroom up here you know this could just be this could be a bathroom obviously and you know a closet something like that and this could just be like a private bedroom which I think is pretty cool I don't, I mean, you know, it, it just like a private third floor bedroom, uh, maybe. Um, there's no kids' rooms in this house either, which there should be. Maybe this could be like the kids' area up here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think that this is pretty good uh, for now. Um, we just spent a sh crap ton of time uh, on building up the floor plan. So I like the outside of the house. I think it looks cool. Um, let me just make sure that's not all lit up for some reason. You know, I think it looks cool. It's a really big house. Uh, it doesn't look that big on this lot just because it's a really s large lot, but it's a really big house. And you know, once we get some like more landscaping stuff going on, I think it'll look a lot better, obviously, on the outside. But for now, um, we just have a really bizarre floor plan going on. So right now it's the kitchen and dining room over here. The entrance is here. There's like a, a half bathrooms, a couple half bathrooms, but in like these hallway spaces. And, you know, it's just a little strange because it's like I'm kind of clear on on um, on this being the living room, this being the dining room, this being the kitchen. But then, you know, there's these two rooms in the front and back and these two rooms side and side here. I don't know what to do with them. There's also these two rooms over here. And there's obviously the basement. And then upstairs we have this overlooking area, but also four, no, five bedrooms. One, two, three, four, five bedrooms. This is the whole master suite. And there's four other bedrooms and then a sixth bedroom up here. So before the house only had four bedrooms, so now it's six bedrooms, which I think is a little bit more fitting, and it looks a lot better as well. So anyway, I hope that you guys... Oh, wow, that was gibberish. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, and of course, leave any feedback that you have in the comments below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.